another video, same shirt, same day, different video. <laughs> I've been out here all day, but it's so nice to get all these plants in. I'm going out of town and so I just wanna get them all in so they can be watered when I'm gone. I'm glad I'm getting them in the ground even though it's been a super long day, two full days of planting. Next year when these all come back, it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> I love planting in the fall because you kind of forget what you plant sometimes too and you come back and spring comes and things come up and you're like, oh yeah, I planted that there and it's so fun. It's like Christmas in the springtime. Spring's exciting anyway, but that just makes it even more exciting. So let me show you what I'm planting today. I'm planting in my forest area today and this is kind of a difficult area. Um, this section of it so the rest of it's pretty much full shade but as you can see there's some spots in the afternoon that get a lot of sun this gets a lot of sun later on in the year and then beginning of summer and the rest of summer this area gets a lot of sun in the morning and even in the afternoon there's a lot of sun when the sun's here but when the sun moves south this gets a lot of sun too so things get really hot but that's when things start to cool down so this does fine but this area right here is hot and it's dry because the sprinklers don't reach very well up there i really need to troubleshoot that we have one up there that just doesn't do that great there's always something to fix so i think what i have today is going to go perfect right here in this spot so i think i'm going to plant them right here in a grouping and let me show you what i'm going to plant i feel like cone flowers are super super in right now <laughs> and hi Piper. It's running through and these are so beautiful I've seen a lot of people talking about them they're the Sun Seeker rainbow there's a Sun Seeker series I think from Monrovia and these are the rainbow and I I took one off on accident <laughs> I broke it but you can see the different stages of the blooms and they kind of fade to lighter as they get older but they are kind of this like salmon color then they're a pink and then they get a little softer and I think they're so beautiful and they do really well in drought areas and apparently they are medicinal i don't know that much about them quite yet but that's nice and these look super healthy i'm gonna have some more blooms and they are just a workhorse in the yard for sure so i think that's the spot i'm gonna put them in i think that will be perfect because it's hot it's dry and it gets a lot of sun so <laughs> piper what you doing what you doing Climbing in the forest. Let's take a look at the tag. These are full sun. These are the Sun Seeker Rainbow Comb Flower from Monrovia. Easy care water wise, we know that. Let's see. Big, beautiful flowers bloom all summer above medium green foliage, ideal for sunny borders and growing in mixed containers. Great in cutting gardens. Six plus hours of sun. They bloom summer to fall, 18 to 24 inches. So they're a little bit taller, but not as tall as some other ones. And then width, 12 to 18 inches. I'm going to plant these probably about 12 inches apart. I like my plants a little bit closer. So that's the specs on those. So let's get those in the ground. Hopefully this ground is okay. I watered it this morning, but I have been doing other things and haven't gotten to this area yet. I thought it'd be soft, but the ground might be really hard to work with. So we'll see what we're working with when we get in there. And it can always be tricky working on this hill. And this is like the steepest part of our little hill here. So <laughs> I might be slipping and sliding around, but that'll be quite the entertainment for you guys, I think. So <laughs> let's go.
neighbors found something in that bush. <laughs> to <laughs> don't bite that bee, it will hurt you. Okay, I got those all in. They're looking so pretty. It's always challenging planting on a hill like this, but I think they're gonna do well here. I noticed the ground is a little bit dry, and as you'll see, oh Piper. As you'll notice, I planted the asters up there and they're not doing that great, but I don't really like them anyway. So I think I'm gonna rip them out, but I think it's because they just don't get a lot of water and I haven't really been diligent about coming out here and making sure they're watered every day. I have planted quite a few things in this forest bed. So I have been putting this section of sprinklers on in the morning for about five or 10 minutes and then the afternoon for five or 10 minutes, but it really just doesn't hit that spot. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to make my husband come out here and f troubleshoot another sprinkler job. I probably should figure out how to do it on my own because I'm sick of bothering him. I'll probably come in and water it a little bit more in like an hour or something just because when you water on the hill, it just kind of runs off as you probably saw in the video. I don't know if you could tell, but it just runs down. So I'm going to let it have a chance to soak in and then I'm going to come back and water it again and hopefully they'll be fine after that. But I think they're going to be so pretty here. I love the color so much. It's a warm pink, almost a little salmon-y and it's going to be so pretty next year. I cannot wait. That will be a fun surprise because I'm sure I'll I'll kind of forget what they look like. I'm trying to get a good angle here so you can see the colors, but the lighting is not the greatest right now. But look how pretty. I think that's going to be a perfect spot for them. So here's a video of these guys in better light. I just wanted to show you guys so you could see maybe the true color because I know that lighting wasn't really great. But I love it next to this kind of blue colored iris with these variegated leaves. Isn't that pretty together? It's such a good combo, especially when these get a little bigger and taller. So I'm loving this one so much. That is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in my next video. Bye guys.